Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Techrot, and as you guessed, I'm back. It's been quite a while since I've done another tutorial. Um, the reason because of that is I've been really busy the last uh, few weeks and months. Um, it's a little bit private, but uh, what I can tell you is I've been busy with um, uh, a company, with uh, my school and my work, and I haven't really got time to, uh, yeah, to work on any projects. So, what we're going to do today is um, we're going to I'm going to show you how to easily import your logo into After Effects and make it 3D. So, for example, you have a logo. Let me just uh, get one real quick. Just give me a second. It's a logo for my friend of mine. I've made an intro for him, and he was pretty, pretty uh, amazed by it. So, for example, you have a, a logo, and you can't really. Um, it's really hard to to mask it out into After Effects. You probably already know how to do it, how to mask out stuff and import it in uh, in Elementary D or uh, any other pro pro program. But the problem is, um, for example, when you're working with a uh, Elementary D, and you have to uh, mask out some uh, some parts of the logo. It will look really strange, especially with log logos that are round. And if they're round, they're really hard to mask out. And I found a really awesome way to um, yeah to auto trace the the um, the auto trace the mask from for the logo. It's uh, quite simple to do actually, and I really recommend using it. Uh, for example, when you make an intro for yourself or uh, making something else. So, for example, you have a, uh, um, a logo for uh, Twitter, for example, or Facebook. You can use that one. So you don't have to go, um, you don't have to mask out the logo itself. So let me just open up Artifacts. There we go, and make a new composition. The old stuff, you know how it goes. Um, make a new solid. Okay, so here we have our solids. We're going to apply the element to the effect really quick for now. Okay, so it's applied, and we're going to import import the logo. Let me just uh, search for it really quick. There we go. Um, yeah, it's a, a Photoshop, so we're just going to press OK. That's just fine. Um, it's in a composition, so I'm gonna hide this layer. Let's turn on the uh, transparency grid for a bit so we can see the logo. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, normally we would go um, and select every part of the uh, mask, etc. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is um, we're going to auto trace the logo. And first off, we're going to just come to Ctrl X to cut the uh, layer and let's paste it here really quick turn on the grid over here so let me just put it in the middle um, sometimes it's a little tip for you guys if it's in the middle you want it uh, for example a text in the middle or a logo in the middle of your screen um, just go to window and there should be something called a line and the line uh, makes sure your um, your layer is in the middle or at the sides of your screen so we just have to press here horizontal center to place it in the uh, middle so that's the middle and the vertical center as well so now it's really centered of course was not, was not necessary with this logo because we were going to work in element 3d but anyway to put that aside it's a really quick uh, and nice tip um, we're going to auto trace the um, every we're going to auto trace and auto make a mask to that logo. So how to do it? Really simple. Just go to um, I guess layer over here, and at layer choose re really underneath the uh, layer section. We see all the trays. Just click that, and uh, you can see some settings. Of course, um, we're going to select current frame, and in the options we're going to select alpha, um, unselect invert. Uh, select blur and put that pixels on one. Oh, don't have to press OK again. So sorry, just go back. And of course, you have to mess around with these settings a little bit. It's just quite uh, hard to understand these. So tolerance, don't really know what it is, but I guess it's the um, the roundness of the uh, yeah the roundness of the mask. So we're just going to leave that at one because we want. Um, 
we want uh, not we want yeah we want square uh, you know you know what I mean we don't want round uh, masks the threshold should be around 50 percent um, because if you put it on zero it will not uh, yeah, it will just select the whole area and uh, 50 make sure every pixel is selected and um, you can put it to 100 not recommended but you can do that um, I just keep pressing OK accidentally because I'm used to it um, minimum area around 200 pixels it depends on how big your logo is um, if it doesn't look that great you can increase it or decrease it and the cor corner roundness again same as tolerance um, this should be on zero and just select apply to new layer and press OK so if you uh, go to the, it create a new layer and as you can see it has new masks and uh, it's actually a salt a kind of a salt layer and with the mask applied and you can see that's a logo and when I when hide it you can see that's the logo we import we just we can delete that if we want to and we can see the mask applied to this uh, sword layer over here we just created and it's a pretty awesome uh, way to uh, yeah to auto trace and auto make those uh numbers mask okay it's very nice details um depends on the quality of your logo of course uh, it's, this one is a little bit small that that's and that's uh, that's why it goes a little bit round around these edges here but um, when you zoom out you don't see anything of it so that's a good thing um, so we're gonna go back to our salt layer we just created which is the element 3D and we're going to go to scene setup and we're going to click extrude here on the top and just gonna press ok and we're going to go to custom layer element 3D we're going to play around with settings over here choose custom task, ta text and masks and at pet layer one we choose our auto traced solid over here and you can see it's already making a 3d uh, 3d yeah 3d uh, logo as you can see it's not so detailed after all we can see the roundness that's uh, because of the quality of the logo of course so we're going to do it again you see if you do keep doing it again and again you will learn it after time and it will, will be very useful to um, to use in to your projects so I'm gonna make that um, 89 see if that one is okay a little bit too much so I'm going to do that again and see if ah yes okay nice the tolerance was a little bit too high so I'm just going to type in one 0.5 see at the preview of it mm. let's increase the roundness see if that solves it not really okay so um, let's decrease the roundness let's see how that goes okay now one two Well, that should do it, is my guess. It depends, of course, on your uh, logo. But um, I guess there are those rounds around the uh, borders here. You can change those if you want. So, if you want, you can go at a extra keyframe every time you want a hook. If you want a corner to happen over here, so we're just going to use the mask tool and just select over here and let it uh, just play around with the settings over here what just did is press H to bring out the hands over here so I've got to remember that one it's a really cool thing and yeah that made the corner a little bit rounder so that's a good thing and so do it yeah every logo has something like this just do it for everything and that should show solve the problem as well so let me go back to scene setup and select that layer again here in settings and see how it went yeah it looks better 
looks uh, much uh, better than the last time. As you can see, uh, there are some of a. Uh, there are some things you gotta change. Gotta play around with those masks as well. But uh, depending on uh, your logo again, it's, uh, yeah, it really depends on it. So just gotta see how that works. Anyway, so and now we can edit our awesome project. We can add some in flares. We can add some some cool effects. We can make it animate with the uh, 3D camera, and uh, that's how. We create a simple intro. We can, uh, if we want, we can just uh, let it zoom in. Let's go to group one. We can go to go to particle replicator and keyframe position Z. And we can just uh, decrease it and let it increase over here back to zero. And let's just hide this one over here. And we can see we have an animation. This is a really simple animation for your uh, for your intro for your channel. Or someone else, a channel depends. And yeah, that's uh, something really simple. Of course, um, and here's another tip for you guys. Um, it's probably sometimes annoying when you go around to play with the settings of, uh, let's see, uh, the uh, the movement of your, yeah, your layer. Sometimes you have to increase the size. You press S to bring up the uh, scale here. And increase it, and now you have to change the position. We press P for that, and we change the position. And now you have to go back in, back to the, uh, and you want to go back to the scale, and you have to press S again. That's quite annoying. Hmm. Here's a little tip: while pressing Shift on your keyboard and pressing P, it will open up the position and the scale at the same time. So the scale is already opened. Or for example, you have something else open, like for example the masks over here, and you want the, uh, let's say the uh, the fade to um, show up here as well, so you don't have to hide everything again. So just press Shift and T, and that'll bring up the opacity, and that way it, uh, you don't have to press T and everything else again or something like that. It's really simple. Just press Shift and T, and that'll bring up. Um, Oh, just got a notification. Anyway, um, so I guess that's about it for this tutorial. So, uh, guys, thank you for watching, and thank you Next HD, Next Designs actually for uh, using for giving me a logo to use in my tutorial. Um, I hope you guys found this tutorial a little bit useful, and uh, yeah. So I have to thank you guys for the 5,000 subscribers. It's a really large milestone. It's the half of 10,000. I'm really grateful for that uh, milestone. It's uh, really something amazing, and that made me uh, do another tutorial again, because I really had to find some time to make this tutorial, or some guts as well. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to you know, how to import your logo into After Effects and use making it 3D. Really easy. Um, please check out my new Source Music channel, which is. Um, a nice uh, channel with uh, deep house music and different kind of genres, some chill out music and you really enjoy that music, it's uh, free to use music and it's uh, really something amazing. My friend and I are uh, yeah, are maintaining that channel, it's something to keep us busy with uh, in the meantime and we're uploading every day so uh, let me just show a really pr quick preview of the channel so we can get the ID how it looks and uh, how professional we're going with it. We're asking every artist to, um, yeah, to for to use the music and, yeah, there's some great visualizers on it as well and some nice girls. <laughs> Everyone likes girls, doesn't they? So yeah, subscribe to to this channel if you like some uh, some cool chill out music and uh, to support us, just subscribe and check out our videos and favorite them of course to rewatch them. <laughs> Anyway, so that's about it. Peace guys.